Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of peppers Peter Piper picked? We're going to be talking about the PNF sound today. What is up? You are watching Tito Talks, not life insurance discussions, English Mondays edition with me, your favorite Tito Miguel, who always loves to make non life insurance topics easier to understand for both agents and clients. And welcome again, magana 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 magandang araw po sa inyo. Welcome to another edition of English Mondays. And finally, I get to post on time. Pasensya na po last week. Medyo late lang po ang, <laughs> ang ating update, but it was a, a quite a hectic Monday. Last time, mm -hmm. I swear. <laughs> But I'm very, very happy to still have you guys here with me today as we are going to veer away from your basic non-life insurance topics and we are going to talk a little bit about English today, specifically your minimal pair P versus F, which constitutes one of the three biggest Filipinoisms we do as Filipinos. They're common mispronunciations and sound mix-ups that we make, uh, which we practice a lot in common speech. Now, if you didn't catch our first session, which was about the TH sound, I'm going to link it up right here so that you can review that before going on to this one just in case. Now, also, if you like this type of content, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Tito is serious. If you don't, Subscribe. I'm going to show your mother your browsing history. Hmm? Now, enough about that. I'm also, I also have a slight treat for you guys. If you watch the video all the way to the end, Tito is going to bust out some tongue twisters to help you guys practice. Yep, yep, yep. Tito's going to try out some tongue twisters with the PNF sound. That should be a lot of fun. <laughs> Now, let's start off with a basic discussion of the PNF sound. Now, as we all note, the P and F, although they are distinct sounds and you find them in a lot of common words in daily speech, the fact that you don't have a lot of F sounds <coughs> in some basic Tagalog terms means Filipinos are more used to pronouncing the P sound. Um, plangana, platito, pumalya, punyemas. These sorts of words which add a lot, which add a lot of color. to the way that we say things. Isn't that fun? Now, because of that, Filipinos have some time adjusting to the more westernized F sound. And it can be actually shown with a few simple exercises, which we're going to go through right now. I've got a list of minimal pairs here on my trusty notebook. And I'm going to read them out for you. And I want you guys to read these words out with me. I'm going to flash them on the screen as well. And I want you guys to make sure that the sounds you're making are quite distinct. Or the words that you're saying are quite distinct from each other. Because that is the mark that you have mastered the sound in fact. Now, say this with your dito. Copy. Coffee. Passion. Fashion, depend, defend, pig, fig, pound, found, prank, frank. Now, if you've managed to enunciate these words properly, congratulations. You don't need to watch this video anymore. But if you are struggling with the sounds and you mix up your P's and your F's, stay a little while longer. We're going to talk about how to make the sounds and we're going to put it in practice in a tongue twister later on. So now let's get into the technical side of things. Now, the main difference between the F sound and the P sound is the same difference between the TH sound and the T sound. Now, if you haven't catched that yet, again, I refer you back to the video. The uh, F sound is a sustained sound, which means you can maintain the F sound for as long as you want, as long as you need to, as long as you still have breath. See how my lips look like when I make that sound. That's very, very important. On the other hand, the P sound, from the word itself, it's a plosive sound. And when we say plosive, let's uh, backtrack to our previous discussion. Plosive sounds are the type of sounds that you make in one big go. They're plosive because they form a small explosion of air bursting out of your mouth when you make the sound. P. P. 
Now, if you notice the shape of my mouth, whenever making these two sounds, they're very, very distinct, although they are very, very hard to notice. Now, the main difference between making the P sound and the F sound is how your lips look like. And with proper practice, you'll be able to develop the necessary muscle memory so that your brain um, automatically tells your mouth to form a certain way when this sound comes along in your daily speech. Now, in order to make the simpler one, which is the P sound, it's simply a matter of putting both lips together and pulling inwards. P. Notice that? Let's do that one more time. P. P. Copy. Copy. Passion. Depend. Depend. Pig. You get the formation of the mouth, you get the formation of the lips. It's quite easy, right? And that's the sound most Filipinos are used to. Magaling po tayo dyan, lalong lalo na pag nagmumura. Tama po ba? <laughs> now, on the other hand, the F sound, like I said earlier, is a sustained sound. You have to maintain the sound and it's not a plosive sound. You can maintain it for as long as possible with the necessary amount of breath. And to do that, it's simply a matter of biting your lower lip. And as you bite down on your lower lip, create a small opening between the lower lip and the upper front row of your teeth. I'm not sure if you heard that, but it's supposed to be audible because of my microphone. I do apologize. Now let's try that sound, that sustained sound with some of the words that we have here, shall we? Coffee. Fashion. Def. Fend, fig, found, frank. Now, if you've noticed, I did not connect my lips together when making the F sound. Rather, I simply bit on the lower lip. Instead of the P sound wherein you connect both of your lips together, I simply munched down on my lower lip, created a small opening through which the air could come through, thus making the F sound. Now, I know that's, uh, that takes a little bit of time to practice, which is why we have these minimal words or these minimal pairs to help you guys out. And we're going to go through them again, and I hope you guys pay particular attention to my mouth whenever I mention these minimal pairs. Let's do that one more time, shall we? Copy. Coffee. Passion. Fashion. Depend. Defend. Pig. Fig. Pound. Found. Prank. Frank. Now, if you, take if you pay close attention to the shape of my mouth and the way that my lips are uh, formed during these sounds, distinguishing between these formations is going to be crucial wherein you want to make the proper sound. And like I said, with proper practice and with proper muscle memory, you will soon get used to distinguishing these two sounds and you'll be able to, pra uh, to apply it in common conversations. Now, like I promised, yes, yes, don't worry. Tito's got your tongue twisters right here. And uh, before we get into these tongue twisters, I'd really like to remind you guys, it's really good if you can sit down with a couple of tongue twisters on a daily basis and practice these sounds, especially if you're struggling with them because tongue twisters will, <laughs> will bring out the worst in you. Although they are frustrating, they are wonderful pieces of exercise material that will help you get used to the word without getting frustrated at the same time. They're fun, they're annoying, and they're, um, uh, <laughs> and they're good practice. And it gives you a good sense of accomplishment once you've gone through one with ease. And take note, we're gonna go through the, uh, uh, we're gonna go through the tongue twister slowly first, and then Tita's gonna pick up the speed. How's that sound? Does that sound okay? Great. Now, I'm gonna display the tongue twister on the screen as well so that you can read along with Tito as we do it. Are you guys ready? All right. Let's go slowly first. I'm not the pheasant plucker. I'm the pheasant plucker's mate. And I'm only plucking pheasants 
because the pheasant plucker's late. I'm not the pheasant plucker. I'm the pheasant plucker's son. And I'm only plucking pheasants until the pheasant plucker comes. Now, what the hell is a pheasant plucker? I have no idea. It sounds dirty, but that's what I got online. Now, let's kick it up a notch and Tita's going to go faster. All right? I'm not the pheasant plucker. I'm the pheasant plucker's mate. And I'm only plucking pheasants because the pheasant plucker's late. I'm not the pheasant plucker. I'm the pheasant plucker's son. And I'm only plucking pheasants until the pheasant plucker comes. You think you can do that one more time? Tita's gonna go a little bit faster for this last time. And I hope I don't make a mistake. <laughs> now, say this with you, Tito. I'm not the pheasant plucker. I'm the pheasant plucker's mate. And I'm only plucking pheasants because the pheasant plucker's late. I'm not the pheasant plucker. I'm the pheasant plucker's son. And I'm only plucking pheasants until the pheasant plucker comes. Oh, yeah. Tito got it on the first try. Did you get it on the first try? How many tries did it take you to finish that? Leave me a comment. Subscribe as well. Tito would love to hear from you. And if you already, uh, if you're already, if you're already interested in the type of content that you're seeing, please send me a message. Um, send me a message through my email. It's in the description down below. I'm also on Facebook. Try to. Give me a shout out on the link there as well. And I hope you guys had a good time today as much as I had going through those tongue twisters. I'll see you again next um, uh, next English Mondays for our next lesson where we're going to be talking about the B and the V to complete our Filipino wisdoms. And also, don't forget our almost daily uploads of our non-life insurance topics as well as we're still covering fire insurance i've got a good one for you guys tomorrow as well and with that being said this is your favorite tita miguel saying i hope you enjoy the rest of your day <laughs>